Roll tight, everybody. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. If you're an Alabama fan or just a football fan in general, we think you'll enjoy the show. And one of the great things about our podcast format is that you can listen anytime you like because every episode's available 24-7. You can find us in the podcast section of iTunes or at bigbrainsmedia.com, or you can go to our Bama Talk Facebook page and hit the Listen to the Show button. Get your gridiron groove on with Bama Talk and roll tide. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Thursday, the 10th of October. I'm James Spann. Nice, calm weather this week. Interesting forecasting next week with a cold front coming in. Will it make it through here? Will it turn cold after that? Let's go in there and take a look. We'll start with a big picture around the nation this morning, the water vapor satellite imagery. And really, while it's calm here, that's a very interesting map. We've got that huge trough in the west, big upper load digging down through Southern California, producing some foul weather there. And the big upper load that's over the east just kind of hanging around. But we're in between all of that, so uh, no issues here. Uh, There's the surface chart over the east coast, and you can see a nor'easter type low on the outer banks of North Carolina. And north of that, we've got the onshore flow with rain uh, from uh, North Carolina on up through Chesapeake Bay and almost up to New York City. And that thing's just going to sit there for a few days. It's going to stay windy and wet and kind of miserable there. Here's the watches and warnings around the nation. We've got high wind watches in effect for parts of the western high plains from uh, Nebraska and one up into uh, the Dakotas. And a high wind warning in effect for parts of uh, southeast Colorado where a big storm is going to lift out of there. Also a risk of severe weather today and tonight from uh, near Amarillo up to the western plains. Tomorrow that system moves up toward Canada so the risk is near the Canadian border. And on day three, which is Saturday, just low in 5% severe weather possibilities for parts of North Texas, Southeast Oklahoma, and Northwest Arkansas. But as we talked about, all this will miss us for the next five days. This is the rain through Tuesday morning of next week, not a drop. The uh, East Coast system will produce some heavy rain for uh, parts of the uh, upper Atlantic coast. Big storm coming out of the uh, Rockies will make it wet across the nation's heartland. But again, we're just kind of missing the action. Tropical weather got our little wave out there in the eastern Atlantic. Looks very disorganized. Tropical modeling not moving very quickly over the next five days, but clearly it begins to move toward the North Pole. A right turn. And the INSIP ensembles just kind of keep it in the middle of nowhere. So let's look at the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Got the big trough in the west. We got the upper low in the east, ridging in between. And for us, today will be a lot like yesterday. Mixture of clouds and sunshine. Upper 70s, maybe touching 80 today. Uh, low levels, very dry, no rain. Uh, nasty weather continues north of the surface low over the outer banks on the east coast. And uh, some rain, maybe a few snowflakes out in the uh, southwest United States. Flagstaff, Arizona might see a snowflake uh, at some point today. All right, tomorrow, very, very deep surface low, 991 millibars over the Dakotas. The winds are going to be screaming around that thing. But the thickness values this time, not low enough for a blizzard, just some rain. Uh, but uh, down here, just no, not much of a pressure gradient, just calm weather. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. Again, highs around 80. Saturday as we start the weekend, sunny, low 80s. Maybe a few showers west of the state. And Sunday, same thing, will be dry. A weak front is around Memphis, but it's stalling out and fizzling out. And for now, we just don't see any reason to forecast any chance of rain Sunday. Pretty decent amount of sun with low 80s possible. Monday of next week, new trough in the west. Down below that, new surface low over the middle of the nation. Kansas-Nebraska border. Looks like about 1,008 millibars there. And uh, again, we're dry here on Monday. No issues. We'll go to Tuesday. That surface low moves northeast with a trailing front down through St. Louis and San Angelo, Texas. But we're still dry. And then finally, Wednesday, the front tries to move in here. But the GFS is trending slower, which is more in line with the European, which is very slow with this thing. And there might be some hint that this thing kind of stalls out and makes it rain for a few days toward the end of next week. Other runs have shown cooler air getting in here. Uh, This is Thursday, a week from today. The uh, trough axis is still north and west of here, and the GFS does want to bring in cooler and drier air. 
There's a look at the temperatures uh, Thursday of next week. That'd be nice and cool. But again, I caution you in that the European, even though I don't have the maps to show you, it's it's not looked that way. It's kind of got the front hanging up with, with rain over multiple days toward the end of next week. We'll just have to wait and see. Quickly a peek at the end of the forecast. This is October 25th, getting close to Halloween. Look at the cold air coming down into the northern states. Boy, that's cold. But around here, that would be dry and pleasant if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.